guys, welcome to the April uh, 2012 DVD update. Um, it's been a while, and I do plan doing reviews on uh, a couple of these. So, without further ado, let's get started. Um, the first one I got is the Dawn of the Dead, the Ultimate Edition. I've never seen the original, I saw the remake. It's pretty good. Um, this comes with the original cut, the extended cut, the European cut, and documentaries on the film. So this is just jam-packed with a bunch of stuff on this movie, and um, it's a pretty nice set too. You can get this for relatively cheap, like really cheap actually, like 15 bucks. I got the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the Swedish uh, trilogy, and it's the extended cuts. So um, this is nine hours altogether. Um, I love these movies. I've seen the first two. I watched the first two in one night, not the extended cuts. I haven't seen the third one yet. And uh, as far as the American release goes, um, that's also pretty sweet, too. I'm not sure which one I like better. If you guys have any opinions on it, just let me know. Um, okay, um, I'll do this next. The next thing I got isn't really a movie, but it's like a case I got. It's for the View Askew uh, Jersey Trilogy, so it's Kevin Smith's uh, films. And it includes uh, Clerks, Mall Rats, and Chasing Amy. And um, I just put them in here. So, Clerks, Mallrats, and Chasing Amy. Um, I don't know, I saw it on eBay, and I got it for five bucks, and I thought it was just really cool, and it's legit, and it's just awesome. So, uh, I think it's really cool. I'd recommend all of those movies highly. I also got quite a few uh, Sick and Twisted movies. The Burning Moon is finally released on a DVD, officially, because there used to be VHS tapes that still around uh, this day actually too. They go around for a lot of money. Just looking at the back cover, I can tell this is going to be a, uh, a great one and I cannot wait to look forward to this. And I actually watched this tonight. So, yeah. Uh, the Human Centipede 2. Um, the Human Centipede 1 was, a, I thought, a film that just had so much controversy around it and really didn't earn any of it. This one actually earns the controversy. Uh, it was banned in the UK and it's exactly what the first movie should have been. Uh, it should have been this graphic, this sick, um, this perverted, really. And it's it's very, very sick. I was shocked by this. This one might be my top ten. It probably is for a, for uh, a few scenes. And it, it pissed me off at one point because of how sick it was. And um, it was very good. This is one that I will definitely be doing a review on. So stay tuned for that. I also got um, Flower, Flesh, and Blood, the guinea pig film. I uh, really like this one. You can just watch this on Google Video uh, for free. I decided to get the DVD just to do it because I actually like having the collection. I don't know. I just like doing it. It's fun, you know. And this one is very gory. Um, easily one of the goriest films ever made. Charlie Sheen thought this was a legitimate snuff film, too. That's funny, but it's like you could easily tell it's not. I mean... It's Charlie Sheen, come on, let's get real. Then I got uh, Angel's Melancholy, Melancholy Dare Angle. Got this off of Amazon Germany. I'm not sure if you can still get this anywhere. I know it's limited to a thousand pieces. And um, this has been called the sickest film ever made. This, it says, uh, Der Contro Versace Film Alle Zeiten. Sorry for my horrible pronunciation, but um, that means the most controversial film ever made. <sighs> It's kind of pretentious, but, you know, I know it's going to be probably the sickest film I have now. And uh, if there is real animal cruelty, please tell me. Um, I think it is. And tell me if there's a version coming out this year with subtitles, because I heard there is. And, uh, yeah, just let me, if you know anything about that film, just let me know, okay? Because I want to watch it, but I also want to know what I'm getting into. And then, I've been getting into Steelbooks lately. Um, I don't know why, I've been missing Steelbook Addiction lately. It's been like a year since he's gone. Uh, great YouTuber. Anyone knows what happened to him, please tell me. And, uh, let's see, so I got four this time. Uh, first one is The Departed. This is the only DVD one I got. This is the most most common one I got, too. Uh, I've been wanting this for years, and I finally got it. It's You can get it for like 12 bucks off Amazon. And it's brand new too, so that's that's sweet. Alright, the next ones I got are, are rare, 
got The Devil's Double. This was a good film. It's about Saddam Hussein's uh, evil son. And um, I have this on regular DVD too. This is the steel book, and it's it's a it's beautiful looking. I mean, I know it's like the cover for the regular release too, but this is cool. And on the back it has the bullets. It has uh, Uday or um, Latif. I can't tell which one it is. And then on the inside it has um, Latif and uh, Sarab or whatever her name is. So yeah. Beautiful. The next one is um the next steelbook I have is for the movie Drive. Beautiful film. I love this movie with a passion. I've already seen it three times, and um, every time I watch it, it just gets better and better. Oh my god! This one I might do a review on. It, it's it's so good. And uh, for this, this thing's is getting rapidly expensive too. I bought this off eBay like a month ago for like 50 bucks and now that same guy selling it for a hundred. So, and the back side is, has uh, Ryan Gosling on the back looking cool. There is no inside cover art, unfortunately, but still look at that, look at that. That pink just looks beautiful. It's just, it's so good. It's like porn to me. And the last one I got is for my favorite movie of all time, Train Spotting. Uh, the German steelbook, you can tell by the FSK sticker. The back, it just has a regular thing. I have no idea if there's inside a cover art. I'm probably not going to open this though. So uh, if there is, let me know if anyone knows. That is it, guys. I will be doing reviews on um, at least the human centipede. I can, I can promise you. You can call me out on that shit because I know I've been pretty unfaithful to you guys. So um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And... Um, yeah, please stay tuned for more. I'm almost at 200 subs finally. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.